Okay, so today's video, I'm going to be sharing a couple of new things with you, maybe like a little mini haul, but I'm going to be actually trying them on. And when I was sharing how I have been wearing my foundation lately, I did use the Colleen Rothschild face oil. And many were asking if uh, there was an oil that I would recommend that is a little bit more affordable. So I did go and buy a few so that I can try them out. And the first one is from Shea Moisture and these are all under I want to say $15 all of them maybe I'm almost sure that they were all under $15 anyway this is from Shea Moisture it's 100% pure argon oil I also picked up the Ordinary's uh, rose hip seed oil so this one you're also getting a twofer because if it works with the foundation it also is a nice form of vitamin A if you can't use retin product retin A products and then I found this one at Marshall's for $5.99 and I have used the uh, mask from this company and they're very nice and this is the Manuka honey face oil so what I thought I would do is maybe use one on one side and one on the other and then after I'm done recording today see how it held up or even just how it blends as we go along okay all right so you know that I have been absolutely loving the elf gripping primer and in the past I have used the milk but it's been many many years so the company did send me this. I thought we'll go and try it today and see if I like it as much as the e.l.f. Of course, the e.l.f. is much more affordable, but um, to be honest with you, I think my first impression of this, I didn't really care for, but, but I, was I was using it with powder products and I find that I really like a gripping primer with my cream products. So we'll uh, go ahead and give this a try and I'm just going to pump some out and go ahead. And I'll even tell you if it feels any different. Yes, it does. The e.l.f. immediately dries quicker, so there may be a little more alcohol in it. And the e.l.f. also is a little bit on the stickier side. Not sticky where, oh, this is so bad, but tacky, which I think has been, had plays in our favor when we are wearing cream products okay so you can see there is a tackiness to this just like the elf i'm going to let it dry down a bit it doesn't really have a scent for me again this was sent to me and it is the milk makeup hydro grip primer so we'll just let that dry down a minute and what I'm going to do, I have done this with many different foundations and it has worked with all of them. But I'm going to stick with the Dior because this is what I used in my last video when I shared how I'm blending oils in to give me a dewier, glossier look. But I want to make sure that the oil is not going to break down the way my foundation performs, the coverage, or the wear of it. So I'm going to stick with the Dior Forever, but as I have mentioned, I have used it with the Wet n Wild, I've used it with the L'Oreal, uh, I've used it with several, several different foundations. Okay, so this one here, I'm going to say dries down a little bit better than the e.l.f. It really does. The e.l.f. stays tacky a little bit longer, and this one has already dried down. It is comfortable on the skin. Um, I never had a problem with the way it felt. I just did not care for it with powder foundations. So I'm going to take a pump. Everything I use will be listed and linked below. I took three pumps of this. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Shea Moisture 100% Argon Oil. And like the Colleen Rothschild, I'm just going to take a pump. The Colleen Oil is a little thicker, I can already tell. Uh, I'm going to take my BK Beauty brush and I'm going to blend the foundation with the oil. Looks the same on my hand. So now I'm going to get my hand dandy little mirror here. Hang on. What I wanted to mention on my lips, all I have is this NYX fat oil. And this is in Supermodel. And it's just to add a little moisture to my lips before I dial them up with some liner and lipstick. All right, so I'm just going to do, I'll do this side of my face with this. Okay, so it is going on beautifully. And the glow is there, although I'm going to say I think the Colleen gives me a little bit more. So I'm just going to go ahead and buff this now. 
it feels beautiful. It doesn't feel any different. I'm going to go right up underneath my eyes and over my eyelids. And right up to my forehead. And I'm going to let you see, get this eyelash out of here. It does give a glow. All right, so there is that. And this is none. It's pretty. It feels comfortable on the skin. A little, I think it actually went on a little thicker, but if I'm not mistaken, I used one more pump than I did in the other video. Okay, so it does really play nicely so far. Okay, so now let's use, I think we'll use the ordinary rose hip because it'll be easier to find than this one because not everybody has a Marshalls and pretty much everybody can get the ordinary. So I'm going to go ahead with the rose hip oil. I'm going to use the same amount, one, two, three, even though I don't need three pumps of it, we'll go ahead and stay true to what I did the first time. And then rose hip oil has a little more color to it. I'm going to take two drops of it and that will probably equal out to a pump and I'm going to blend it in to the foundation. Doesn't really change much about the scent and we're going to go ahead and apply it to this side. Rose hip oil is a beautiful oil. Both are good for the skin, but, but the rose hip oil actually is a natural form of vitamin A. Now it's not going to work as quickly as retin A would, but some of us cannot use retin A like me. I cannot. Okay, this feels good. It's going on really nice. It hasn't broken down the way the foundation performs. Let me give it a quick buff. It looks really pretty. Go on my forehead. And you can feel when the brush has pretty much released it all. And that would be it. Okay, so there is the rose hip seed oil from The Ordinary. And this is the Shea Moisture. I would say that the, this side here gave me a little bit more glow. Absolutely. What do you think? I think there's a little bit more glow on this side. Okay. All right. So application is fine. Uh, it works really well with the foundation. It didn't go on blotchy or anything like that. Uh, I don't see it looking much different from when I used the Colleen Rothschild. It worked really well with the 101 from BK Beauty. You might want to have a couple of these. I do. <laughs> uh, but again, you can also use, uh, you can just clean these off and they do clean up well. So, okay, application is pretty good with either one, but I do think you're getting a little bit more of a glow than you do with the Shea Moisture. Okay. I'm going to go underneath my eyes with the Colleen Rothschild. This is the uh, Illuminating Eye Cream. I use it kind of like a concealer. It really does work well. And you can use your fingers for this. You can use a brush, whatever you want. Okay, so I am going in with the Fit Glow Beauty brush I used in the other video with the Colleen Rothschild Illuminating Eye Serum. I really uh, use this as part of my makeup application more than anything. Uh, it, is, it does have uh, benefits for the eye, but I just love the brightening effect it gives without being cakey underneath my aging wrinkled eye. This to me is worth every penny I might spend on this. It just really brightens the eye area and I'll let you take a look. It really does. It's when it goes on, it's very subtle, but it just gives a beautiful glow. I am going to set it, but it really, it just brightens up slightly and I take it all the way through the temple so that I lift that area out as well. And notice I'm working in an upward motion, which I did in my last video. And I also sweep over the top of the eye with this. I don't put much of it on just enough. 
and see how beautiful that looks it's just enough okay so we're just going to let that set for a minute now absolutely love 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 this product but since i did talk about the revolution now this is the natural it's about the only one that you can use this the rest of the colors they are going to act as a blush now this is natural has a little bit more red in it than the mario's but i just want you to see the effect it gives and um because it's much more budget friendly and it really does give a beautiful glow so i'm just going to go ahead and this one here because it does have a little bit more color to it it can actually be used as a blush because of the color in it now that's a very light application of it because i'm going to use it like i used the mario so i am going to probably put a little bit of a blush under this but notice i'm actually stopping just before i get to the upper part of my temple and i'm lifting the cheekbone up with it i'm not going down and that it's very very subtle and like i said you can use it as a blush unless you are very very fair this may pull too red on you but go and take a look at them they have i think they have one that has a purple undertone they have a pink which i've never seen it's not in stock and i have the peach which I might use today, but I meant not because Milk sent me one of their blushes, so I thought I would give that a try as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and pounce this on. And for this, I am using the Ruffer number 17, really great brush. If you're someone who struggles with application, this brush is so small. So if, if this is out of your budget, which these are very affordable, but if it is, just look for a brush that's dense and really small. Uh, I'm sure e.l.f. has something. And just so you can, you notice it doesn't spread out much when I'm pouncing, just so you can get good placement. Because I feel as we age, that is a struggle for many, many women. So I'm just building that up slightly. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on my forehead. Now these don't last on the skin as long as the Mario, but they, they're not bad at all. They really are not. And if you're going for that beautiful glow, healthy look, you can achieve it with this. Okay, so that's all I'm really going to do with that. It's very, very subtle, and that's what I want because I'm going to go in with one of these blushes. Now, they sent me this one, which is called Quickie, and they also sent me this one, which let me get my zoom lens because even with my contacts, this is not going to be uh, easy to read. Okay, this one is called Work. So I'm going to go with this one. It's a peachy pink, I think. Let's take this top off. And that is the color. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply this to the upper part of my cheek. And before I work it in, I want you to see the color. Very, very subtle. I find it is so important for me to add color now that I have a white silver hair. Without it, I really... Um, I think that's when it ages us, when we don't put a little color back in. I'm going to put some of this on the eye bone, right on the bone, and then I'll work that in. I want to really intensify it so you can see it. This is a very, it's not really a strong color, but I want you to see. Can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. Okay, so now I'm going to take this BK Beauty 106 brush. And I'm just going to tap that blush just to blend it. I'm not really rubbing it. I'm just pouncing over it lightly. And this will help to soften the edges so that it doesn't look like I have a racing streak on my face. And it's really pretty. It's very, very light in color. So I need to apply just a little bit more. It is very fair. I think it needs a little bit more oomph for me. Now, if you're a skin person, this would probably work really well. But for me, I think I need a little more oomph. But we're going to stay with it, okay? So that is the blush. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, 
I think I like the e.l.f. better, and I definitely like the Makeup by Mario better. They, those cream blushes are beautiful. But this was really nice, and um, I, was really, it was, I was really surprised to receive something from a company because I don't really receive much from makeup companies especially. I get a lot of offers that I turn down because the products are ridiculous, <laughs> and I'm not just going to... I'm not going to talk about things just because it was sent to me free. Uh, I really have to... I have to like it to be able to share it and many of the things like I said I don't know what they're thinking of when they ask me but many of the things are just really ridiculous okay so now I'm gonna take uh, this is the rougher number one it's my favorite it's great for blending out so I'm just going to go ahead and blend that shat that cream blush it says it's for lips but I'm using it for eyes too why not right and I'm just going to blend that down and that's going to start the lift in my eye area and I'll do the same thing on this side I don't really know what I'm going to do for my eyes yet but when we get there you'll be the first to know all right so I've just blended that down it just gives me a little bit of a lift not a lot all right, so now I don't want to powder over my cheek area, but I do want to set some of the rest of my face, just like I did before. I'm going to stick with the Laura Mercier because I, I also have the uh, e.l.f. halo, which is really nice, but um, I don't know where I, what I did with it. It's buried in there someplace, but I'm not sure. So I'm, so I'm going to take some on the lid, and I'm going to take the BK Beauty 113 brush because of the size. Now, my most favorite powder brush, if I were to powder all over my face, is the 102 from BK Beauty. But I want to be able to control where I'm putting my powder. I'm going to dab the brush inside, shake off the excess, and now I don't like my T-zone area glowing. So I'm going to go down my nose. I'm going to go down the side of my nose. And notice where the brush is hitting. I'm going right down my marionette lines underneath my chin because that is my T-zone area and I don't like that shining. I'm going to take some more powder and I'm going to go in between the eyes and just up the forehead slightly and I'm going to go just over the brows a little bit more on the brush and I'm going to go over my eyelid because I don't like my eyelids to be really glossy and then I'm going to go up underneath and go right over the Colleen Ross but I'm staying very close because I don't want to go over my cheek area and I'm going to do the same thing on this side and it's I didn't add any more to this brush I'm just using what is left over now if you want you could go up the jaw if you want I don't really feel a need to but I will just to show you it would be just a light dusting over the jawline so notice the glow is still all there and it's not so much powder that it's it's looking cakey or I have created that matte aging face for me just not just, a good look for me anymore okay. so like, so milk also sent me their Kush clear brow gel so we're gonna go ahead and put my brows where they belong but I am going to need to cover up these grays because I have said it before and I will say it again as much as I love my white hair I absolutely despise my white brows so I but they are wild and they are out of control so I'm going to place them in an upward sweep I like to sweep them up because it just everything going up is much better at my age so I'm still gonna go in this is fine it's absolutely fine uh, the elf uh, brow clear brow gel is very good the Anastasia clear brow gel uh, the one in the little t uh, tub that is kind of waxy and very and it's they're both clear both work beautifully actually a little bit better than this but this is fine so I'm going to go in with the Anastasia and this is the brunette and I make sure that I clean the tip off really well and I'm just going to sweep over those grays because well they're not even gray they're pure white they are so thick 
they really uh, are just unattractive to me. So I make sure that I uh, cover them up. I don't know if you can see them on camera in this one before I do it. This one actually has more in it than this one. But um, yeah, it, they're just not, it's not pretty. But there's nothing we can do about that. We can't control the way things grow out of our body. Um, so we just have to learn to play around. Now this one I have to go back and forth a little bit because it's not grabbing on to the one gray. So there we go. So my eyebrows have been finished, my friends. <laughs> Makes me very happy. Okay, so I'm going to go into my BK Beauty palette. And I'm just going to put a little bit, I think I'm going to use a little bit of Ambition. It's a rosy pink. Uh, and I'm just going to go in with that number one brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit of it. I'm not going to do uh, a whole lot to my eyes. I haven't been. Uh, I've just been sweeping a color on, so I think I'm going to do just that. I'm just going to go in and sweep a little bit of this on. Notice I'm just using the tip of the brush so that the application is very light. And I think I'll go right over my whole lid with this. And I will just buff it in. And I really think that's all I'm going to do with my eyes. So it just puts a very, it's a beautiful rose tone. So I'm going to go in with a clean brush. And it's just another number one. I have a ton of these. It's my favorite brush by Refer. And I'm going to go along the edge and just sweep that in an upward motion, especially on the outer part of my eye. And just a little circular here. And it just softens the line, but it's a really pretty shadow. I might go in and just really build up the corner a little bit more. I didn't add any more to the brush. I find that the more I sweep, the glossier it gets. I don't mind this type of gloss. Isn't that interesting? And then we'll just go and sweep a little bit underneath the eye. Not a lot, just a little bit. And I want to make sure that the outer corner is really swept up. But I don't want to extend it out too far. So this is all I'm going to do to my eyes. OK, so I'm going to do the other eye. But I wanted to ask you guys, Lou and I, uh, we were looking for something to watch the other night. And I think we were watching it on, it might have been Apple TV. Or we have YouTube TV. So I think it was Apple it was on. Um, it's called The Morning Show with Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. It turned out to be a really good series. It also has, oh, I can't remember his name. He's, he's, oh, he was from The Office, that actor that did The Office. And I didn't really care for The Office. Lou loved The Office, but The Office to me was just, I think it's, I don't know, probably lots of women out there loved it. But anyway, um, it was really a good series. Uh, they released two of them. Three comes out in September, and it was free uh, on Apple. So we watched the whole series, and I think it was Jennifer Aniston's best, best performance ever. Because usually she just does silly stuff. Uh, I mean, I've seen her in a couple things where she's been more serious, but the movies were only average. This series was really good. She was excellent in it. Reese Witherspoon was good in it. Um, everybody. It was just a great cast, and that really does make a good series. So if you're looking for something to watch, that one is pretty darn good. I thought it was. I mean, there's a lot of swearing in it. Uh, there's some, there, there is a little bit of sexual tension in there, but nothing graphic. Um, they just give you the illusion to what's going on, which is kind of what Lou and I agree. That's all that's really needed. Uh, but yeah, give it a try. It's a pretty good, uh, I think it's loosely based around Harvey Weinstein or Weinstein and Matt Lauer. Um, so that gives you an idea what it's going to be about. But it was really good. Really good. Okay. So that is it for the eyes. Not sure if this pencil is still made. This is from Chanel. 
and it's agape. I'm going to use it to tight line, which means I'm just going along the top lashes in the underneath. I'm not going above. And I'm just going to really rub up against the lower lashes. And then to the inner eye. This is just going to add some depth to the eye difference. Same thing on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my lips. And I bought these. I'm not going to use these today, but I know that several people love these uh, gloss lifters from Maybelline. And uh, when I went into, I think it was Walgreens, the girl was just putting this up. Um, on display and I immediately grabbed all the colors that I like because these will sell out and I'll just give you a quick swatch the first one here and these are actually very nice glosses the first one is gummy bear it's a very muted pale pink and I hope it shows up because it is pretty muted okay so that one is right there and that's what it looks like in the tube it's really pretty. It's a very muted pink. This one's called Bubblegum. I really like this one. And I'll put that right next to it. You can really see this one. It's a pretty pink. And then there's the tube of what it looks like. She was just putting these out, so I don't know if she was late to the party or if they are just being introduced because I haven't seen them anywhere else either but I am in Buffalo New York and that's not unusual uh, this is peach ring pretty pretty peach color and let's put this next to the pink it's along the same lines it's a milky peach that's what I would say about the first pink a milky pink so here is the Milky peach, really pretty. And here it is in the tube. All right, so there is the milky peach right there. And there it is in the tube. These have a, um, they have a distinctive scent to them. And last of it, but I think there were probably, there might have been six or eight new colors, but these are the ones that I grabbed and this is sweetheart and it's a beautiful coral orange you know i love my red orange coral orange and you know and just because you have silver hair does not mean that you can't wear coral a lot of people are under the belief that if you have white silver hair you can only wear neutral shades or you can only wear things that have a blue undertone that is not true especially if you are a yellow skin girl like me or your warmer skin girl olive you need the brightness for one and we still need i'd say you need more of a warm neutral for me i still can't wear the really blue reds and blue 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 pinks they don't look good against my skin tone so you have to find that equal balance and all of these with the exception of this pale pale pink one um would be perfect for all my white haired girls. Okay, so those are all new. Don't know if they are brand new. Like I said, they could have been late to the party. I don't know. All right, another thing I purchased, I saw this girl on Instagram. Okay, so she said she found the best uh, lip combination. Now, the only thing I could not find was the lip liner she was using. It was from L'Oreal, and I believe it was color 110. So I just picked a neutral one or a natural one, and this one is from Revlon. But I also but I have Mocha from Anastasia, so let me see which one I think looks closest to what she was using yeah it's going to be the mocha from anastasia so we're going to go ahead and use that okay, so i wiped the gloss that i had on off and i'm going to go in with the mocha this may not stay on me i just want to try it because i know how there are so many people that love that natural nude look so she put this on and i thought huh i wonder if people would love that so i'm sharing it with you except for my lip liner is a little bit different is the lip liner this is mocha 
from Anastasia. I actually like this lip liner. And the lipstick she had is from Revlon, and it is $7.55, bear it all. If I'm not mistaken, I have this lipstick at home, but I bought it again. So I'm going to apply this. And that's what it looks like. It is a very nice nude. But then she went in with this Rimmel gloss, and it's a milky pink gloss. Okay, so and she, she went in with this milky gloss. And that is it. She says this is the best lip combo ever. But this is not the one that I'm going to wear today. I'm going to change it, my friends. But I wanted to share it with you. So again, bear it all. Mocha from Anastasia. The Baradol is from Revron. And this is uh, Rimmel Stay Glossy Sunday Best. Okay? And you would get this lip combo. I think many of you are going to love this. Okay. I'm going to go take this off. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the lip that I'm going to wear today. And it is uh, from Revlon, and the lip liner is from Anastasia, and it is Dusty Rose. This is the lip liner on its own. It is true to color, Dusty Rose. And the lip is from Revlon. It is 762, and it is called Flushed, and this is a new cream color. I love Revlon lipsticks, and this is what it looks like in the tube. I've been wearing this almost every day with different liners as well. But that is the two, and when you put them together, they make this. I just think it's better suited for my skin tone and my hair um, over the first one I just showed you. But I want to share that with you because I, so, I know so many people absolutely love a natural lip. So I'm going to go in with my uh, lash curler. This is the Ruffer. Absolutely love it. It just really fans the lashes out beautiful. It is so easy to use. It is affordable. And it comes with several, several rubber, whatever you call those things. All right, so my lashes are curled, but before I go any further, I'm going to go in and just really pop up my cheeks a little bit. That milk is nice, but it's not enough color for me. So I'm going to go in with my Refer uh, number 17 brush, and this is from the Fit Glow Beauty uh, palette. I really love this because it has four different colors. I'm going to pick, take this pink, just touch the brush in lightly, and I'm just going to add a dab of color to my cheeks. Uh, I think I need it. Like I said, with silver hair, you do have to add a little color. And it just gives me the right amount of color. And I really love the formula of the Fit Glow Beauty blushes. All right? Okay, so that's just an extra little pop of color to bring me to life. So now I'm in the store, and I saw that um, L'Oreal has a new uh, lash primer in soft white. Usually it's in pink. And this is the Lash Paradise. So I thought, let's try the white. It's a soft white. I loved the pink one. I'm just going to go ahead and build this up on my lash. Everybody, every now and then we need a little help with our lashes. A lash primer is the way to go. I do use a lash serum, and uh, the Revita Lash really does keep my lashes long. And like I said, I actually forgot it here, and I'm struggling a little bit with my lashes until I get back to Florida, which is only in a couple of weeks. I'll be back in Florida, and I can start using my Revita Lash again. So I'm just going to fake it for now, right? And I'm just going to build up those lashes. And then I'm going to try, Milk also sent me their mascara, which I believe I've used that in the past. I might have tried it a long, long time ago when it first came out. And I think it has a really large brush, which I think is a little bit difficult for small eyes or aging hands to maneuver. 
but I did not look at it, so maybe they changed it up a little bit, all right? So that is the lash primer, it works really nice, but the pink one did as well. Okay, so this is the Kush Mascara in Boom. Oh, this is a different wand. Oh, okay. The other one I used, I think it was milk. It was massive and it was very hard to avoid other parts of your eye with it. So let's give this a try. I don't know, have, for those of you who have been using this, did they change the brush or am I imagining things? Because this brush does not seem as large as it was. It's going on very nice over this primer. Very nice. But I, I have always found that the L'Oreal Lash Primer works well with anything. This is really nice. Very, very nice. That's just one coat. So I'll go ahead and do this and then we'll come back and put another coat on. So there's one coat of this Kush Mascara from Milk and the color is Boom. So I'm gonna put another coat on. Okay, so there is the mascara. For application, I really liked it. I really thought the brush was massive. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but uh, really, really nice. So I did buy a couple of new things and those will make it into a video as well. Uh, if you wanted to have a little bit more gloss on this, your lip, uh, I really do like these uh, Pat McGrath. This is the Nude Venus, which I don't believe is made anymore, but um, I know that L'Oreal makes a gloss that's similar to this, and this is just a nude, but I like it because it doesn't really change the formula or the color, but it just adds a sheer gloss over it. Now, see, I think that is a pretty lip color. Hey, my friends, so that is it for today's video. Uh, I am uh, so far looking at it. I absolutely think that either one of these oils could be used in place of the Colleen Rothschild. These are much more affordable. And uh, that was the question that was asked to me. Did I know of another oil that would work? And so far, now this is with my Christian Dior. Of course, I haven't tried it with any of my other foundations, but this is very similar in the way that it performs with the Colleen Rothschild oil. You just don't want to get an oil that is too thin. You need it and you don't want it too thick. So the uh, either one of those are fine. And again, this one here I found at, um, Marshalls, they have a ton of oils that you could go ahead and give a try. And I think Marshalls, if you buy an oil that doesn't work, you can always take it back. So, uh, so far, and the milk uh, gripping seems to be working well. I think what I'll do is I'll record another video and maybe pop back on here because I'll be under the lights for probably another, you know, 20 minutes or so. I'll pop back on here afterwards and uh, I might even take the dogs out for a little stroll before I come back to record and because I have to go and do a hair video now. I'm doing a hot roller video uh, right after this. I'm finishing that video up. So maybe I'll stop in between. It's about 77 here today, a little bit humid. Um, believe it or not and it is supposed to start raining so I, I need to get the girls out anyway so maybe I will do that and then I'll be able to see if this gets really greasy or if it starts to break down okay then we'll know how well the grip primer works and the oils with the foundation all right so uh, I'll pop back on in just a bit my friends okay, okay so I came back real quick it's been a little bit of time I recorded a video I did go outside real quickly with the girls and gave them a little potty time uh, it's not super humid out today so it wouldn't be fair to say that this is Florida weather or anything like that but uh, I was outside a little bit, so let's just see how everything held up. Okay, so this side was the Shea Moisture, and it looks beautiful. The foundation is held up. It's not wearing off. It's not breaking down. Uh, I think the Grip Primer is really nice. It did make a difference. It really has not changed in appearance at all. I will say the mascara, I have one tiny little flake right here, but I don't have any transfer uh on the top or the bottom so that's a good sign so let's take a look at this side which is the ordinary 
Uh, it still looks beautiful. The blush is holding up well. The foundation is holding up well. It feels great on the skin. There is a little bit on both eyes because I put the foundation underneath. There is a little bit of separation under both eyes and creasing. That could be because maybe I didn't put enough powder, but normally I don't have that problem using the Colleen Rothschild um, with the foundation, but, but uh, today I do have just a slight separation. But like I said, it could be because I put a little less powder on today. So that's what it looks like. I think they both held up well. So if you were looking for a budget friendly oil, remember this is with my Christian Dior Glow Foundation. I have not had the opportunity to use it with others, but with this, it did perform well. Both of them performed well. No breakdown at all, none. Friends. So right. that is it for today's video. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button right next to it. That bell that'll notify you of all the videos that I'm putting up until the next time, my friends go out in the world, be lovable. And remember it is okay to love your age. I love you all. Bisous.